Hello everyone, Juicebags here, and I am pleased to announce that all the issues with the Tekkit server are now squared away and the server is open for business. Now I don't have uh, a ton of people whitelisted yet, and this will be the official uh, video. Comment below to get yourself whitelisted. Now this is a uh, community server for Juiced Gaming subscribers. So if you subscribe just to get into the server, it's probably going to be a little while. There are a limited amount of slots. Um, can only have 40 people on the server at a time. Um, it's actually a little bit higher, but I'm starting off with 40 just to see how uh, the system performs with Tekkit. Now a few rules on the server. Um, as you'll see, they're all set up. I mentioned it before, but there's going to be no quarries or chunk loaders. Um, I'll be putting quarries up. and uh, everything that's collected from those quarries will be uh, publicly available. Now when you spawn into the server, this is uh, where you're going to spawn right in between the Juiceville Space Program and what is now going to be our community center. So if you come on into the community center, we've got uh, a little tinker table set up and a charging station for power armor below. Uh, this is still a work in progress here, so don't uh, mess with that please. And then we're going to head on upstairs. Now everything that's on the ME network is free to use. Now, although there is a ton of stuff on the network, you can use whatever you want. Now, on that same note, you don't want to drain everything that's in there. So if you want to, you know, say you want to build some big, huge, custom, whatever, that's just going to be badass, just let me know, and I'll give you creative mode, and you can build it, and then I'll switch you back into survival mode. Um, I have no problem with uh, someone who just wants to build, uh, coming in and building some really cool stuff. Now, as you notice, we are in my old world. We kind of decided that last night in the stream that this world and this seed were uh, the way to go after uh, flailing about for an hour in our uh, introduction stream. And when you come in, basically we want, as I mentioned before, we want all the buildings, um, everything to be in this one area. We want this to be essentially the city center right here where the space program is and then the community center. So um, feel free to build out wherever you'd like. Uh, claim a little piece of land to call your own. Now I did not put any sort of claiming plug-in in since uh, this is just for subscribers only. I'm hoping that everyone is civil enough to uh, respect everyone else's claims. And basically to uh, pick a spot you want to build in, just set a perimeter. Um, blocks, fence, whatever. Just uh, get get an outline of what area you want laid out, and then throw a sign in the middle of it. Here is uh, going to be an example over here. You know, all this stuff is fenced in, of course, which is pretty obvious. Uh, this is going to be my little farming area. I took all the uh, orange trees down, and you see I've got uh, a little work in progress here on getting a little wheat farm set up. Now we look back here. We see this area is fenced off. Oh. There's a sign there that says juice, so this one belongs to me. Uh, what this is going to be is I'm going to expand out the power generation and uh, make it so power is available from the community. Now that's one thing I, I do request is, is um, anyone that does want to build any sort of power generators for their own, own machines in their own little house, uh, please keep it small because it will suck down massive amounts of memory and you are free to use the power that I'm going to be creating back here. Um, if you come in, now obviously you don't need to come in, but uh, if you make yourself an energy tesseract and put it in your house, and you'll see one of the channels on the en energy tesseract are public one. So feel free to use public one. There will be a public two, a public three, and so on and so on as I build out the... Uh, the uh, power generators, I'm going to make it pretty massive, so I'm thinking it's going to be enough power for everyone. Now, just until we get uh, things under control and see how uh, how the server is handling um, the load, 
hopefully not uh, any extensive amounts of lag, the space program is going to be temporarily suspended. So no spaceships will uh, be able to be made until we get things dialed in and we see how things are going to run. Now my only other request is that you kind of, we want to make this one big large city. I mean going all the way over, feel free to fill in these water pools. Um, you know, we want to make this a big huge city all the way around. I want to see buildings everywhere. Um, a couple of requests are, I would appreciate if no one built right along the water right in this section. Uh, the reason being is eventually I'd like to get a big shipyard and dock in place. And then I'm going to put a lighthouse, a large lighthouse out here somewhere, probably right here. And then the only other uh, request I have is that you try to keep things in somewhat of a grid. Because although there is none there right now, eventually we're going to have want to put some roads and have streets in place here. And of course we can't do that with um, if people just have stuff scattered about everywhere. Now by all means, build what you want, take as much space as you want. But uh, like I had mentioned before, try to keep everything close if you're going to have machines. If you just want to um, just build just some massive building, put it wherever you want. I don't care. Go as far away from the city as you like, as close as you like, whatever. Um, as long as it's not going to have a lot of moving parts in it. If it's going to have moving parts, try to keep it in tight. And uh, let's try to keep these... Uh, 20 chunks or so right around here, the only chunks that stay loaded all the time with all the machines going. Um, now as you see I started to fill in the top of this quarry over here to uh, free up some more space for people to build. And I will, uh, of course these are dead quarries here. Uh, they're already farmed all the way down to the to the bedrock so I'm gonna uh, put a top, now as you see it's only the top layer. So I'll put a top layer in covering this entire quarry, this entire quarry over here as well, to give people more area to build. Um, I'll be on quite a bit, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask me. On that same note, I put this server together to kind of have fun, uh, not to create a bunch of work for myself. So use the wikis, look stuff up on your own. <clears throat> Don't expect me to just be able to uh, answer all of your building questions if you're unsure about them. Um, on that same note, um, we will have uh, some sort of a staff in place. Uh, don't have anything yet. If you're not a person that I talk to on a pretty regular basis through some sort of chat, it's kind of a waste of your time and a waste of mine for you to even ask to be on the staff. Um, if you're somebody I'm talking to pretty regularly, then uh, then we can talk. I think that's about it. The uh, I'm going to put the login information down below. Of course, like I said, I've got some people whitelisted, some people are not um, quite yet. I'm still uh, getting people entered. I am going to be doing a, a stream, I think, on my YouTube channel tonight. going to get my little farming area all squared away here tonight on the stream and uh, potentially start building working on power. Um, like I said, feel free to use whatever you want from the supplies that are sitting in the ME network, but don't drain it. I mean, farm your own stuff up, you know. Um, there are a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff to get people going, but uh, don't just drain it. I will be putting more quarries in place soon. Um, as we see, the other two quarries that I had active are completely down to the bedrock now, so I'll put two, a couple more quarries in place within the next few days and that will help replenish some of our supplies from the initial build. Um, on the same note of uh, behavior, you know, obviously I've got some uh, plugins in place now to help versus griefing or uh, any other issues, but um, I'm not really one that's just gonna gonna play around with it. I mean, if you get on the server and you're irritating or just are displaying any sorts of random douchebaggery, you will get kicked and you won't be on the white list anymore. So, I mean, everyone behave themselves, have a good time. Let's build up a huge, huge city here and make it something really impressive. Um, as soon as we know how the server's gonna handle the load, we'll get the space program back in play and then everyone can start building on the moon or on the space station. 
Now, once you are whitelisted, it is important to make sure that you have the correct version of TechIt installed. This is TechIt 1.5.2. It's uh, really probably the only reason I was uh, willing to go ahead and do a TechIt server is because 1.5.2 oxygen sealers are fixed. So when it gets to that point, we will be able to do very impressive space program with a uh, you know, nice moon base, a nice space station, the whole enchilada. So let's go ahead and jump on over and take a look at uh, getting the proper version of TechIt. Now once you get, uh, get your uh, Technic launcher installed, everyone is going to instinctively want to come right over here to this gear and uh, click it. This is the launcher settings, not the actual TechIt settings. So when you click always use beta launcher builds, it's for the launcher itself, not for TechIt. If you go to this little gear right under the TechIt logo and click that, um, I just use always use latest builds. You can do manually select a build, but you want to make sure that you're using build 1.1.6 or it is not going to let you on the server. Um, that is the most current version of TechIt. Um, it's still in development stages in fact, but it does have Minecraft 1.5.2 installed on it, which is awesome. So post your interest in joining the uh, Juiced TechIt server in the comments below. Um, names that I recognize are going to get whitelisted faster. So people that have been subscribers for a long time or people that have regularly posted comments are going to be getting onto the server very quickly. Um, if you don't get onto the server right away, my suggestion would be to uh, check out some of my other videos, post some comments. Once you're... Uh, this is not an auto, a, a uh, auto whitelist server. So the second you become a subscriber, a subscriber, that does not mean that you're going to get in right away. Um, make sure I recognize your name, and that will get you whitelisted faster. Uh, this, as I mentioned before, this will be the official video for posting your interest in joining the server. Um, even if you have posted it in one of the other comments below, post your interest in joining the server here along with your Minecraft name. Now, don't send me a PM, post it in the comments right below this video. Um, that is the only place I'm going to go to to start whitelisting people. I will be uh, whitelisting people every day. Um, if you're someone who's been a subscriber for a long time and someone who I chat with regularly um, and you're interested in becoming a moderator on the server, please let me know. Thanks again. Hope to see you guys soon.